In this video, I wanna take you through the two best optimizations that you can complete for your Google Shopping campaigns in 2025. Now, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm from Define Digital Academy. And this is part of my Get Google Ready series where I take you through not only how to correctly set up all of your Google Ads campaigns, but also how to optimize them in the right way. And to make this video as practical as possible, I'm sitting down here at my desk and we're gonna go through a screen share so I can walk you through how we complete these optimization actions. And I kind of wanted to give you a bit of a behind the scenes look of how I go through and review different campaigns. So I hope you enjoy this format and let's get straight into this screen share. Now, one thing that I will also just let you know is that if you, you wanna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, and this not only has all of the different tasks and it's got well over 70 different optimization actions for shopping campaigns. It also takes you through the optimization tasks for your search, forwards, max, display, demand gen, and video campaigns. But as I said, we're gonna be focusing on the shopping campaigns. We're especially gonna be focusing on reviewing your search terms to find the right keywords to update your product titles. I'm gonna show you why that's so important. And then we'll go into some location-based targeting. If you want to get access to this optimization checklist, which has been downloaded well over 100,000 times now, just follow the link in the description and you can get access to this checklist. All right, the campaign I'm going to be showing you, I've had to blur out some of the campaign names for privacy, but this is a new shopping campaign. And as you can see, we've been going through and running in some optimizations and we've started to see a pickup in our performance, which is what we want to see. I can also just show you in through here with our click to ratio. We've been able to take this, you know, when it was starting, it was, you know, in around the 50 to 72. We've even had some weeks where we've had it above the, the 1%, which is a great metric for shopping campaigns if you can get that above your 1% mark. So what I really want to focus in on is the core optimization actions we've made to achieve this. Other things I will note is that this is a supporting shopping campaign. So it's running in with some other campaigns in this e-commerce brand and it's still currently on maximize clicks. So we don't have any smart bidding happening. So the first thing that I want to take you through is this task of reviewing your search terms to find the right keywords in your product titles. And what I'll get you to do is if you go into your products, so we're in products in here, and I've just gone into one of these core products. If you click on this, you can see the data. And what I really wanna show you in through here is you can see from here, we've started to see a real increase in our clicks and we've also started to see our conversions go up. So in the last sort of week, we've had, I think four of the six conversions that have come from this one product. And you can see everything is trending up. Also too, you can also see in here as well, is that we've had an upward trend of that click to ratio. And the last three weeks, it's been over 1%. What we did here is that we went through and reviewed the search terms. So if you go into insights and reports, and then search terms. I generally will in, put this down by impressions. Now I have to block out some of this data, but if you also put it down by clicks, what I'm really wanting to look at is what are the search terms which are generating clicks. And there was a search term in here, which was called anti-snore pillow. And what we noticed is that when we worked with a client, because we'd just taken on this account, we noticed that that anti-snore pillow keyword wasn't included in their product title. So we then got them to update their product title. And as you can see from here, by adding that in there, this has had that direct effect of more clicks and more conversions. So that's the process of what you want to be doing is after you've had your campaign running for a little while, go into your insights and reports, go into your search terms, find out what people are actually clicking on, and then add that to your product titles. Now, the one thing that I would add there as well is that I do really understand, especially when you're dealing with some larger e-commerce brands, there's two things you might have to contend with. One, if they've got like thousands and thousands of SKUs, I wouldn't go through and do this for all of them. What I would do is I'd pick certain product categories, run it as a bit of a test, and then if you can prove it as a proof of concept, so if you run it across, say for example, two product categories, and you can say to the, you know, to the client, hey, look, 60 days before, this was your click-through ratio and your conversion rates, now it's doubled or now it's, we've seen this increase. It then gives them the confidence to be able to roll it out across their whole store. The other thing I would say is that sometimes there is a bit of a pushback in regards to getting the right mix between the branding and also what the user is searching. So you don't just want to keyword stuff those product titles. It needs to be readable, needs to be you know friendly to read, and it needs to match with their branding. But if you can really back it up with data, that does make things a lot easier because this is it. It is a really, really important action. So that's the first thing review your product titles and then go to your search terms and see uh, can you update your product titles to better match what the user is searching because remember when it comes to your shopping campaigns your product titles is one of the core areas that google decides 
what search terms to trigger your ads for. Second thing that I would like to take you through for a shopping campaign. Once again, now this one will only work if you're not running a maximize conversions or a maximize conversion value bidding strategy. But what you can do is if you go to an individual campaign and when you're in that campaign, click on the campaign and you'll then see locations. Just note there that we didn't see it before. So what you actually need to do is you need to select the campaign and then under audiences keywords and content, you'll see locations. Now, even if you haven't added all of the different locations, this brand is just targeting the United States. You can go through and click on the country and then you'll see states as the option. And what you want to be looking at through here is again, is you just want to be seeing, you know, where he's spending the most amount of money. So if it's not filtered down by cost, filter it down by cost just by clicking near the cost. And you can see we've got the most expensive to the least expensive. We want to make sure that in this one, our top three spending areas is where we're getting the conversions. So people will ask, you know, when should you make a change? Now, if you see that there are some locations where you're spending just lots of money and not getting any return, what you could do is select it and click exclude and then that would exclude it from showing in that area a lot of time people will ask you know when do you make the decision to exclude and this is different for different types of businesses and it's also different for different types of accounts so let's just say for your shopping campaign it may just be a supporting campaign so you may be getting a lot more conversions in search and performance max and you just want to use shopping to you know, really pick up those really highly targeted sales. So, and if that's the case, you may want to be a little bit more aggressive and go, look, we only want to be spending money where we're seeing conversions. And you might put some parameters around that and go, once we've spent $200 on a state, if we're not getting any conversions, we're going to exclude it. For other brands, you may say, we want to spend $2,000 until we get that data. It really just comes down to some of those parameters that you need to have discussions about. If it's your own business, you know, internally or if it's in the client, just make those discussions for them. So that's the main thing it comes to. Look, there is no set rules for me it really comes down to what makes the most sense for your business and your brand that's two great ways that you can optimize your shopping campaigns in 2025 and remember if you want to get access to that full optimization checklist so you know all of the different optimization actions that you need to complete not only for your shopping campaigns but for every different type of campaign and google ads that i recommend you use in 2025 follow that link in the description below it's been an absolute pleasure having you here and if you want to go through and watch all the videos in my Get Google Ready playlist, make sure that you don't only subscribe, but you've turned on that notification bell. And if you go right here, you can watch the playlist. See ya.